Messi is one of those heroes that most players can pick up and play at a basic level, even for total Overwatch rookies. However, she is not without her bag of tricks. This video will cover a bunch of tips to help boost your Messi player, teach you something new, hopefully, and get you off to a great start in this course to Messi. So hopping right into it with tip number one, safe resurrects. Most Mercy players realize that they can move while channeling a resurrect, and this is great when you have cover nearby, given you can actually resurrect through walls while out of enemy sight, if you can get your movement just right. A similar trick can be achieved by falling from a ledge while holding your jump key, as the resurrect cast completes. However, one lesser used trick is spinning around extremely rapidly while you channel the resurrect. This will make your head much harder to dink for enemy snipers and hitscans. And while resurrecting from cover is definitely much safer, this is a great tip to keep in mind if you have no other choice but to revive a teammate in a dangerous spot. Tip number two, Valk stalling objectives. Messi is not the best hero in the game for stalling objectives. Not when heroes like Mei, Lucio and Tracer are doing their thing, however, this changes if you have Valkyrie available. This is because you don't actually have to be standing on or even around an objective in order to contest it. You can, of course, be flying just above a payload or control point, and you can contest it all the same, as shown here by Little Menace in his guide to stalling objectives. And as you can see, as soon as I get Valk, I instantly pop it and I start contesting point. Now my goal, honestly, is to make the enemies look towards me, because if they turn around to shoot at me, then they're not shooting my teammates and I could get healing out of them. So right now, like I said, I'm just going to try to stall as much as I can for time, but I'm going to die anyways. Definitely powerful stuff to remember to min-max your messy player. In fact, with proper teammate positioning, you can achieve a similar effect using only your GA to constantly be hopping back and forth across the point, as also shown here by Little Menace on Numbani. And the reason why we play in high ground is because also we're allowed to fly back and forth between the points. So we can go over here to our team. And then now we can fly back to our Zenyatta. Now our, our tank is dead. We have no one to contest point except for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell my team to stay up on high ground. And I'm going to fly back and forth contesting points. As you can see, they can't cap the point. I'm just contesting it nonstop. And this is why uh, map position is so important on Mercy and uh, actually communicating with your team as well. Because I was talking to my team, it allowed them to set up on high ground and allow me to contest the point without putting myself in danger. Tip number three, jump spots. Or rather just one angelic descent jump spot. When defending on Hanamura and no one is around to taxi you back to the fight, use angelic descent to make it over the notorious Hanamura ravine. You'll get back to the fight quicker, and arrive from a safer angle to rendezvous with your team. Super quick. And finally, tip number four. GA awareness. The importance of training your game sense and awareness as Messi cannot be overstated. And this comes into play big time when looking to get the most value possible from your Guardian Angel. In a typical team fight, unless you have great cover to work with, you should be using Guardian Angel almost on cooldown if even so much as a single enemy is targeting you. One of the best ways we recommend training your game sense and getting the most out of Guardian Angel is to try and keep track of at least two teammates precisely at all times. Keep track of more if possible, but two is a perfect starting point. This is because before you use Guardian Angel to leap to a teammate, you should already have a second teammate in mind who you can jump to next. And then, before you jump to that teammate, again, have your next jump target already planned out, and so on and so forth. This will ensure that you are constantly moving, making you a difficult target for enemies to track, while also lowering the chances of you using GA and ending up in a terrible position. And also lowering the chances of you leaping to save the life of a critically wounded ally, only for them to die, and then for you to turn around to see that your team has thusly abandoned you. If you always have your next GA target in mind, over time, you will find that you are able to keep track of the positions of most of your teammates simultaneously. And the value of this 
is immeasurable. If you have enjoyed this video so far and would like to see us cover another hero, definitely drop a comment with that down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Game Leap Overwatch for more videos like this in the future, as well as some juicy PTR coverage. As a final bonus tip, consider cancelling your Guardian Angel before you actually reach your Guardian Angel target. Again, a lot of more experienced Mercy players will be aware of this, but for any of you newbies, this is actually a great tip for keeping yourself mobile. This is because when your Guardian Angel cast finishes and you reach your desired target, your move speed will actually slow down dramatically as you arrive at that target. However, if you cancel your GA just as you reach that target, or maybe even halfway to reaching that target, you will simply drop directly down to the ground and bypass the whole slow, floaty movement phase of the Guardian Angel ability. And now I'll about do it for this tips and tricks video to Mercy. Be sure to check out our other tips videos covering a bunch of other heroes. If we have not yet covered the heroes that you play, go ahead and leave them in a comment below and we'll see what we can do. I've been Tom from the Game Leap team. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Be nice to your teammates and we'll see all of you guys in the next one.